Let's talk about Matterport. As you know, VHT Studios and Matterport have merged together, mm-hmm. and we are embracing the technology, but we would like to have it more humanized. Actually, it's your word to humanize or rehumanize uh, uh, the technology and the marketing tool that can help the final user. And uh, a lot of agents are not comfortable with doing that. They, they feel very insecure. They get on top of the ceiling and they cannot get down. They don't know how to jump from floor to floor, glide and slide from room to room. As, and as a result, they're trying to stay away from the technology. And we need to break that wall and make sure they understand the privilege of having that marketing tool. Sure, absolutely. Well, let, here's the thing. A problem can't be solved unless we understand the root cause of where it comes from. And what I heard you just say is there's a tremendous amount of fear for an agent when it comes to the use or the engagement of the tool itself, right? Mm -hmm. Which is completely understandable. Agents mostly don't use programs or technology when it comes to dealing with their clients or presenting it to their clients because of the fear that if I don't understand this, someone's going to ask me a question about it and I'm going to look foolish. That's why they don't want to talk about it, use it, or engage with it. And that is, that, that, that's an understandable and very real fear, and, and I respect that tremendously. I think that what is important in this, though, is to understand more, if that's the root, how do we help an agent overcome that basic fear? And one of the ways to overcome the basic fear is to ask yourself as an agent, am I not using something because of how it affects me, or am I not using something because how it affects the client? or the potential viewer. Mm -hmm. And the reality of it is, is that if I'm thinking only about myself, that's not my job. My job, right, is to be a guide, a mentor, a Sherpa, a person that helps someone navigate what is a very difficult transactional process. That is what my best interest is for my client. And in addition to that too, am I limiting or restricting thousands of people from having a fundamentally different experience when viewing a property, right? Because why? I'm afraid. That's not a real great reason to be able to say, hey, I'm gonna cut off and limit what could be a tremendous value proposition to my clients and to other viewers in a really unique way. So I'll ask you this question, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know an agent that if you said to the agent, hey, by the way, I'm gonna offer you an opportunity to have someone engage with your property online for on average 15 to 20 minutes per view? Absolutely. Would they say no? Of, of course they should say yes, because the regular uh, slideshow is about 30 seconds on average, maybe 45. The interactive floor plan is maximum seven minutes. So you are talking about tripling the result. And right. I think that's uh, that should be a great advantage for yeah. the agent. And so for the average agent to be able to say, hey, look, would you love to go to any client and in your listing presentation say, by the way, I can average 15 to 20 minutes online view of your property for each engagement that someone goes in there versus if you were then going against another agent in a listing presentation and they said, hey, can you average 15 to 20 minutes per person online on my property? What's the other agent you're competing against going to say? Huh? What? <laughs> Nobody could do that. Right. That's not how people work. Well, yeah, it is. That's the reality of it. So here's the thing. The fear is understandable. Can we put the fear aside for a moment to, un- to really think about it then? Is there a value proposition that I can offer to somebody that differentiates me and how I help people? My job is to help people. That's at the root cause, that's the core of what I do, right? Exactly. So can I create that? And one more thing that I think is, is even more important. You know, if, if I look at what Matterport does for a property and how someone can interact and engage with mm-hmm. it, you know, we're forgetting because I think that people think that if I do a Matterport, that's the only way that someone's going to engage with it. But that's not true, right? There's still photography, correct? Absolutely. Some There's still maybe a floor plan there, correct? Yeah, and Matterport produces one. Right. So it's not like by saying I have this, oh, all of a sudden, someone that may not be comfortable with technology will never be able to experience this property online. Yeah. And especially when you think about the world of marketing, you and I have kind of talked about this mm-hmm. a little bit in the past. That when you think about it, you know, pricing a home is the mo- correctly is the most important thing. So if I take an eight hundred thousand dollar house, right, and I say, hey, you know what, I'm going to price this. It should be around eight hundred. That's what the correct market is, not nine hundred, because we know the client wanted nine hundred for it. But we we agreed to eight hundred to live in reality. And I've got seven other comps on the market currently that have that same price point. 
What does that then do as a difference for me between separating out now my property where someone is spending 15 to 20 minutes engaging and interacting and exploring and I am literally highlighting features and benefits live time in that property as they explore that property compared to six other homes now that are having what? 30 second yep. swipe there and go. Yeah, there is the slideshow. And in addition, Metaport has different tags. You can put a tag, oh, look at this backsplash, or look at this marble countertop. And that adds time for a potential buyer to spend on that tour. Yeah. Because they start reading, they then they see another tag, and then they jump there. So yes, absolutely. I totally agree with you. We just need to educate our agents more yeah. and believe in themselves that they can learn. Yeah. If I learn, they can learn. They can learn and they can understand and actually embrace and love that product that but helps them get listing and sell listing. Can I challenge that idea for one second though? Sure. Why do they need to learn? Well, they need to feel comfortable doing the presentation. Let's say they have a buyer and they're sitting in a conference room or worse yet, they have a Zoom call and they are sharing the screen mm -hmm. and now they're introducing Metaport. They need to know how to use it. I'm going to hold you for one second. Okay. Now we're driving the fear. As soon as I say you need to learn something in order to be able to speak about it, I'm building fear into something. I actually don't really need to do that. I can simply say to somebody in a listing presentation, I can average 15 to 20 minutes on your property online with a special tool that I use. And I can move on to something else. One, I don't know that the client wants that. I don't yet. Two, in that conversation point, I can then share a link as an example with them and let them play with it and let them experience that. Well, what right? if they're worse than you are and they have lots of questions? Well, does Matterport have any way to answer some of those questions and support oh, yes, an agent? Yes, yeah, there's plenty, uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so tips and I defer that person to the experts in the technology. You see, again, I don't have to live in this place of fear. This idea that by me mentioning something, all of a sudden it's going to make me look bad. It, that you don't have to live like that. That's not a process anymore. You can leverage certain pieces of technology that are rehumanizing how someone engages in a property. Yeah, think about that. I don't need to physically be present, but I'm actually creating a human touch using a piece of technology to allow someone to experience a home. That's very different than what exists currently. Simple yet wonderful. Thank you. Thank Great you, to Lance. see you. Good, good spirit.